So our work together 8-3, it says prepare a post-closing trial balance. It says use the general ledger accounts below. Your instructor will guide you through the following example. A form to complete the post-closing trial balance is given in the working papers. Prepare a post-closing trial balance for Darlene's delivery service on July 31st for the current year. I want you to notice in our directions that they gave us our ledgers. Meaning it shows us all of the accounts and all of the balances. I am not getting my numbers from my worksheet, my income statement, or my balance sheet. I physically need to get my numbers from my ledger. So what I need to do is take these um, ledger accounts and put it on my post-closing trial balance. So this is your post-closing trial balance sheet. You will notice three lines on the top. It's going to be the name of your business, the name of the document, and the date. And a post-closing trial balance is always prepared on a specific day, not for the fiscal period. So what we are saying is we are not going through and saying this is what our balance was for the whole fiscal period, just saying on this one day. So on the very top, name of our business is Darlene's Delivery Service. Name of our document is a post-closing trial balance, and our date is July 31st of the current year. So now, what I do is I start with my first account, and I need to put them in account number order. So my first account is cash, and cash has a debit balance of 7,350. Then my next account, which is account number 120, is accounts receivable. Romel Woods, and that has a debit balance of $372. Then accounts receivable, Wyatt Ames, debit balance of $88. Supplies, debit balance $250. <coughs> Prepaid insurance, debit balance $900. Accounts Payable, Colin, gas, credit for nine seventy five. After accounts payable, Colin Glass, I have accounts payable, brand uniforms for a credit of 212 Darlene Wong Capital for a new balance of $7,773 and then you should have after account number 310 every single one of those accounts should have a zero balance would you agree they have the lines through them so if it doesn't have a balance it doesn't go on our post closing trial balance so on the very bottom line of our post-closing trial balance, we're going to write the word totals. And then you take out your handy-dandy calculator and you add them up. When I added mine up, I got 8,960. Does anyone else agree? I know I got the fast fingers this morning on the calculator. Um, but that is the very last step. So chapter 8 deals with journalizing your adjusting entries, posting them, journalizing your closing entries, making sure that you remember your concept of read, posting them, and then your post-closing trial balance. That is the last thing that you do to get your books ready for your fiscal period, is to do your post-closing trial balance. Go ahead and try your on your own.